we're uh, the state police's version of a SWAT team. But uh, we also do diving as well. We do a lot of scuba work and stuff like that. And we're the only unit within the state police that does that. Does uh, the high risk entries and the scuba. Um, behind us I have the Bearcat. This is one of our uh, police rescue vehicles and it's a armored vehicle. We use this a lot in a uh, like barricade situation, uh, bank robbery, um, person that's not cooperating right, right. We can get this thing up very close to the situation without uh, you know, being in jeopardy of getting shot or shot at. Um, the thing is fully bulletproof. Yeah, uh, can withhold like a 308 round, maybe a uh, 50 caliber as well. Um, well, let's, let's see. We'll start. We'll start with our tactics. All right. This is. It's not a riot shield technically. It's a. It's actually a tactical shield. It's a little heavier than a riot shield. It's actually bulletproof as well. Riot shield they use in like actual riots to you know move people back. But this, this can take some shots, take some rounds. Um, it's a little heavier, obviously. It weighs about 30 pounds. Um, with our unit, we uh, usually operate with two shield guys. Um, they're up front. After a door is breached, you know, with the key that unlocks any door right here, the ram, um, or a halligan tool, we can get inside a door, and uh, shield guys are gonna be up fr front first. Um, once the shield guys are in, we got guys with long guns, um, two different variations, and then a couple guys hands-on that uh, can take down any um, people that we come across. But the shield is a good tool that we use. Um, we train with it. You have to shoot with one hand basically when you're operating with the shield because you can't use two hands with the shield. You got to hold it one hand and gun the other. So um, it takes a lot of training, a lot of practice. Our scuba work is a little different than uh, the everyday, like going down to the Caribbean, seeing nice pretty things, and seeing fish, and coral. Um, in New Jersey, there's not much clear water. Just in case this one goes bad or there's a, uh, any kind of problem underwater, we know we have backup air so we can come back to the top safely. It's good to, it's a good, uh, to have that peace of mind in there that you have a backup tank when you're scuba diving.